as you can see um we've put the little bench inside the uh, van itself now and you can see how it just sits on the um the new flooring that we put down um it fit like really tight like a glove um so i i, I lucked out in that it seems like the interior inside the um 2003 grand caravan is pretty much the same as the interior of the 2004 town and country because that's what all this stuff had been sized for previously in your own build once you've assembled this um side piece here with the dresser i mean the drawers and stuff and you've created the um back kitchen area you'll need to measure from here all the way to here to determine the width that you have here because that's going to be where you're going to um, mount the second railing here somewhere over here at the same height so that you can have a bed and basically you're going to have the whole width from here to this side as the bed um, pretty decent sized bed for one person I think it'll hold two adults um, if they're, you know, comfortable with sleeping in tight quarters. If not, this is only going to be suitable for one. And I'm planning on testing it out um, with two adults. Um, and I'll let you know how that goes. But um, this is the um, bench subsystem for the back. I'm getting ready to install the bottom bench section. Um, the actual bench part that we're going to be sitting on. And um, this bottom part actually flips up later to become part of the bed. So for now, we're just going to go ahead and install it. I um, wanted to give you some measurements in case you want to recreate this. The width of the item from here to here is 19 and 3 fourths inches. And the length of it, the long ways from, from this side all the way to the other side over there, is um, 40 and 3 fourths inches. This little beam that I have in here... This little bar, basically I just took this piece and I cut off like an inch. So it's an inch wide, okay? And I have it running along the length. This spacing in here, from this side to this side, is um, three and one-fourth inch. And all the way to the end here would be four and one-fourth inch. And the reason we have this bar here is, um, you'll see in a moment when we lay it, you know, when we put it down as the bench seat, it's designed to brace the other piece so that um, the backrest of the bench won't be vertical, straight up and down, won't be 90 degrees. We wanted it at um, a comfortable angle. And what I did was I kind of positioned the board at various angles, found what felt comfortable, and then I marked it. And that's how I was able to determine where this, um, this bar goes. So let me go ahead and put that down and um, show you how it sits on the bottom. Okay, I placed it down now, and as you can see, it's a very tight squeeze. Um, it lines right up to this support bar here that goes up to hold up the bedding section. Um, how I built it was I originally didn't have the supporting bar here. I put it there to hold this in place so it wouldn't slide out while you're driving. And um, it was also put in to hold up to help with this bar right here on top to kind of help hold it up a little bit. Um, you can see it's a very tight squeeze because the measurements were made for the 2004 um, Town & Country. And this is a 2003 Grand Caravan, pretty much the same size. So it's a very tight squeeze, which is good for me. But on your own build, this is the part that you're going to need to measure, the width here. Um, otherwise, the other measurements uh, will work. But um, this will allow you to maximize the bed space. So we put down the bottom part. And now we're going to be adding the um, the backrest area. Okay, um, we're getting ready to add the backrest area. And as you can see, this is just a simple piece of um, board. You don't really have to do much with it. The uh, measurements on it, for those of you who are interested, is um, the the width of it. The you know from the length down here is um, forty and three fourths inches. Basically the same width as the um, the bottom piece there. And the width going this way, or the length, depending on how you look at it, 
is just a little bit over 18 and a quarter inch. So we're going to go ahead and mount this here. I mean, I have to put the camera down because um, I'm the only one doing this. So let me pause it here. Okay, now you've seen that I have um, I have just simply uh, placed the sheet, uh, the backrest area there, behind the bar because the bar will hold it in place. And you can see the um, the kitchenette is what it leans against, and you know it slides, and that's what helps hold the angle. And you can see I can <laughs> sit in it. Oops, I can sit in it comfortably. Although the um, the pine is a little bit soft, so I feel it flexing. Um, if the pine ends up breaking or not working, you probably have to use plywood. But for now, it seems to be working, and that's what that that bar is there for. See, it helps to hold everything together. Okay, we're actually nearly finished with assembly of the van. This is the um, bottom brace for for the right side of the um, bench or the left side if you're sitting back there, facing the front. But you can see that's the the rear bench area. And I basically just line up this piece right here to the edge of the um, bench to hold it in place. But it, it can still allow it to come out. So it's just to keep the bench seat from sliding forward um, while you're driving. But let's go ahead and screw this guy in. See, I just, I just basically used um, three screws here to hold it in place um the the measurements on this this unit here going across is seven inches and going up and down vertical here is 14 and a half inches okay as you can see we're about to install this um t-beam here to hold up the um the bed support and i've screwed in the the other pieces i kind of lined it up just like this you know the edge over here and I just basically set it on top of the um, the bottom piece the measurements on this, this beam here are um, 19 inches this is 19 inches going this way and going vertical is 2 inches and the width of all this wood that's being used is about one half inch maybe maybe three quarters inch I mean maybe um, yeah three quarters to one and a half inch. Um, the thickness doesn't really matter, but it should be at least half an inch or more. The reason is you're going to be laying the um, board on top of it, so whatever ledge you can give it here is what it's uh, going to be sitting on. So if you had thicker than uh, half an inch, that's even better. But half an inch will do. So I've screwed in most of them. I'm going to go ahead and screw in this last one here, and we should be all set. And there we go. And now the van bench seat and bedding system is essentially done. All we need to do is um, decorate the van, um, finish up a couple of minor systems, and well, we'll have something interesting. Um, I have um, configured the, uh, the bench seat into a bled, uh, bed platform. And um, notice that um, there's now a gap here of about two or three inches. Um, whereas on the other vehicle, the 2004 Town and Country, this piece connected with this and sat about right over here. So there's actually a difference of about three inches, maybe two and a half. So I may have to buy another board here to extend it out to here. And that way it can sit on this part to help hold it up rather than just dangle here on the end. Although I, I've tried um, sitting and laying down on it, and I, it seemed like it was enough to hold it up. But having a gap here is probably not a good idea. So more than likely, I'm going to have to replace this top piece, which is the back of the bedding unit. I mean, not the bedding unit, uh, the back of the bench seat. So even though the vans look and appear almost identical, it seems the... Um, the Grand Caravan has about two or three more inches of interior space for some reason. Unless I mounted this back, but I don't think so. I think this is exactly like it was on the other vehicle. So I tried to see if the bench seat would um, slide back. You know, like maybe it was like slid um, 
back instead of forward and I don't really see a, um, a sliding mechanism to, to bring it back so we'll see okay. um, as we had laid out the the bedding platform I wanted to show you how these um, lawn chair seat thingies I purchased from mattresses I got from Walmart would be used in a bed format um, each of these things are only $15 or so. I have three of them here, and you can see they make a complete bed. Um, they're about two and a half inches thick, and um, it should be big enough for two people because you can consider one person can lay on one and one could lay on the other. And you even have room here on the side for drinks and whatnot still, and you still have access to the drawers. So... This is a cheap bed system of um, $15 each, so that's only $45. And you have a really nice bed. Um, they have a wide selection with different colors. I um, shot some pictures, which I'll put into the ebook. So you can actually um, not only have a fairly cheap bed, but have it look nice um, because it functions as a bench seat. So let's go around. And this is the bed from the other angle. I haven't made it up yet, but you can see it's uh, plenty of room and very easy to put up and well, take down. I um, decided to go ahead and check out the bed, even though it doesn't connect over here, to see if it will still hold me up. And I was able to lay down on it. And um, it actually was pretty comfortable. It was quite comfortable. The, the mattresses were so soft, I actually kind of fell asleep. <laughs> so I think it's going to work even without this. But, um, you know, without this part actually connecting, um, if, if you are building yours from scratch, because this piece of wood here is the backrest on the, the bench seat, I had cut it down, but you can get it and not cut it down. So, you know, it'll come all the way across and probably connect, and, you know, like connect right over here and sit on, on this edge and stay up. So that would be even better. So, um... That's what I would do. I would let make sure that it connects just to play it safe. Point out is that um, you see this um, support bar here. When we take it out of here, you actually are going to flip it so that the support bar um, stays on the back side. That means you're not going to you're not just going to flip this over like this. You're actually going to flip it and turn it because um, otherwise the support bar will hit this. So you want to make sure that when you flip it over, the support bar stays, um, you know, this part right here stays over here, but it'll be upside down. And that way, because um, there's nothing here for it to hit. The other thing I wanted to point out is, um, notice where I have the support bar here. It looks like it's at the top. I'm, I'm inserting it like this because these bars will make it impossible to just lay it down. So you kind of have to slide it down. And that's what you do. When you slide it down, it locks in place, so nothing's flying around. And then this this piece is the backrest here, just simply goes in here. But as we found out, um, it can actually be a couple inches taller, although that'll reduce your rear uh, visibility here. But um, you can extend it up by about another three inches to make it connect um, with the the bench seat to form the bed but even as is the way I have it right now with my current measurements it still works so I'm gonna go ahead and put the mattresses here the um, lawn chair mattress to show you how this all fits together and how we get a nice little cheap um, seat and just Set all this here, tuck in the tag so it's pretty. And you can see we have a seat here. So I'm gonna tuck that in there so we don't want cables everywhere. And I'll bring one more here. A little piece of glass from uh, the other vehicle. And we put this over here, tuck it in right here. And you know what? We have a nice uh, comfy seat. Let's try it out.
here's what it looks like from sitting back here. And um, it's very, very, very comfortable. Well, it's very cushy. And you still have access to um, the storage right here. And the soda holders. Telephone holder. And I'll probably be adding a, a power system there so you can plug stuff in. Maybe a small inverter. But um, the van is essentially done. I just need to show you how to do the curtains with the curtain rods. And um, install the inverter. And the camper will be pretty much functional. The only other options that would remain to be added are um, uh, an emergency bathroom and maybe a shower system.